London, and welcome to the many of you who have uh, emigrated to our festival from one of the 28 foreign countries represented here tonight. I declare this sixth European Psychoanalytic Film Festival officially open. Psychoanalytic Film Festival is an initiative of the Institute of Psychoanalysis uh, to create a forum where for three, four days, every two years, psychoanalysts, filmmakers, film critics, film scholars would get together to discuss films. <music> final blow to an already beaten down fantasy that can't get up. How did you feel in the center with each group and going from one to another? We strongly believe that uh, there is a space where psychoanalysis and cinema can talk to each other. Here in this film it is men's turn to speak about themes that they do, do not address very often. When I first heard that uh, they want to select that, the down film get selected here, I was like, wow, <laughs> wow, this is amazing. What I want to thank you mostly for is the landscape, the wonderful, wonderful landscape, which is, to my mind, a psychoanalytic picture in itself. I always do my film by instinct, and uh, I never think too much, because if I think too much, I don't do nothing. Um. <laughs> it's like listening to a conversation in another room with a wine glass, you know? It's like hearing echoes of things which um, just spark things off. Some of them are, are really very uh, rare films. Uh, I haven't heard about them. You know, in the big festivals, these films are never really shown, or I haven't seen them this year. So, I like to discover things. My knowledge in psychoanalysis and film studies is really shallow, but obviously I know Laura Mulvey and Jan Christie, so I'm really looking forward to seeing them because they are kind of big names in the area. It's a very sincere, uh, at the same time, playful homage to different genres of film, different periods, different types, different directors. Polish cinema is, is actually very special amongst European national cinemas. It's shot black and white, and it's about Stalinism. Nobody believed that it can be such successful. And it was. It was an exceptional success. It was the audience is marvelous. I mean, you know, I, I got like dozens of, of Q&As, and, and it's just, people are so smart <laughs> here. And I had a really great time, great time. Uh, the festival this year has a general theme which is border crossing, migration across national and mental states. Uh, in other words, we are showing and discussing films that are directly about the problems related to uh, migration of people from one country to another, but also about different uh, mental states and the kind of transition from one state to another, the kind of problems that that um, uh, creates, and how film, uh, because of uh, the very nature of, of its medium, uh, can uh, represent such movements and such transitions from a state to a different one. The very history of psychoanalysis in terms of the people, if you like, the founding fathers, um, is saturated uh, with migration. Phase number three is the phase of a new identity with a selectively adapted ego with the capacity of replacing the grief of the native homeland by a new feeling of forming part of the new society. Akin's film, Gegen die Wand, Head On, was the first German film to be awarded with the Golden Bear at the Berlinale. We had plenty of time for discussion uh, in panels or through lectures, uh, with uh, uh, always a uh, lot of attention being given to audience participation. 
you're dreaming, you know, her life is so grim. She dreams of a better future, but at the same time, she's having nostalgia because she knows that will never happen. There is a very interesting dynamic of the two of them speaking their mother tongue and excluding Angela. In this dialogue, when they start to uh, speak their own uh, language, that's uh, words of hate, of hatred, real. Direct. I'm not an analyst, so I feel very liberated to speak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask about the third character, because nobody's actually mentioned the woman, the female character at all, mm. which I thought was really curious in the discussion. I was trying to work out while I was watching the film why she loved him. I, I, I saw just a film uh, from a Croatian uh, director. He made it in the US. It was very interesting to see how the conflicts of Croatia, Serbia, uh, continue in, I mean, a new country with totally different contexts, uh, but the hate and the, and the, and the images uh, are still remaining. Both films have been, well, I've seen, are fantastic. I mean, the sort of things you just never see in London, except by seeking them out very, very deeply, and, uh, which, which I try to, but it's just nice to have them all here. When I was watching it, I was actually uh, looking forward for it to be over to hear what you have to say, because for every shot I was thinking what you were thinking, I was wondering what you're thinking. It's a must, it should be a must for every filmmaker to have his film screen in something similar to EPFF or to here, and uh, then be part of the discussion. It's very opening somehow. <laughs> of film that reflects on 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 serious uh, on realities of contemporary Spain particularly of marginalized people just to contextualize our conversation I'd like to say something about Powell and Cocteau <laughs> Orpheus's description of her as burning like ice, a well-known representation of desire from Sophocles. It was so so romantic, so great, and the death, of course, in mm -hmm. the end, it gets a completely, totally other meaning than in Anderson's mm -hmm. fairy tale. There were two themes which I think uh, Laura uh, outlined very well, which have to do with you know, the migration to the digital technology from celluloid. As we move from analog to digital and with a new uh, possibility of stopping and watching a single frame, we're also going backwards to still photography yes. before cinema was Absolutely. even invented. <laughs> with the people of the town uh, that uh, cried to them, uh, you communist from Bologna, which is a famous red, uh, red communist town, go back ça m'a donné beaucoup d'idées, donc euh, euh, c'est intéressant. Comme, euh, comme vous l'avez fait, c'est très intéressant. I hope that that wish, the need to trespass the borders, and to cross over them, remains. Uh, in all of us and, and, and makes us feel alive.